What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video. So here's Coach Clifford talking about the win versus the Warriors. And then after that, I'll chime in and give my opinion. But you're going to like what you're going to hear. Great. I mean, and a bunch of guys obviously played well. A bunch of guys made plays. Uh, you know, Jalen hit the big three, right? Dennis had a huge drive. Uh, PJ had a lot of uh, big baskets in the, at the end of the fourth and in the overtime. And uh, But uh, our defense, you know, this was our best defensive effort, I thought. Uh, uh, Mason, uh, in terms of, like, what he did with his team defense, how much he clogged up the lane. I thought Gordon's defense was uh, terrific, and uh, we had some other guys that were good, but obviously Dennis Smith's defense tonight was just, you know, uh, you know, I mean, he, for this league, just about as good as it gets. You've spoken really highly of Dennis since he got here, and obviously he's been, um, you always want to, I guess, believe it can be really good, but mm -hmm. you Yeah, he had two, you know, two big drives, right? One in, one in the fourth quarter, and then uh, one in one in overtime, right, to make it five. And um, now he played. I mean, he look, he's 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 a terrific defender, but he's also he's a great competitor. So uh, he's already through only six games, you know, made a big contribution to our team. What did you see with Walter tonight? You know, he's got a lot of assists. Good, and, and again, I thought this was Mason's best game. Uh, his defense, uh, his team defense stuff, which uh, helped take away, you could see in you know, that those layups that they got in overtime and late in the fourth uh, are harder when you don't have a true center in there who knows how to kind of clog up the lane and take away cuts. And he did a good job with that, his defensive rebounding, but he was a big part of the ball movement also. Uh, so I thought that was also, he was a big part of that. And then before the game, you mentioned about the back-to-backs and just how, you know, the other teams and stuff that go out there and they win the games and the team sometimes lose the games. So when this game is shorthanded, when you have a full team out there, I'm on the rest of the top of that. What is this? Well, it says a lot about the guys in the locker room now. They sucked it up. We were tired. And, uh, they do like they always do. You know, they're, they, you know, they're part of their identity is they own the third quarter. And, um, they made their run and our guys hung in there. And also then we broke the lineup and the younger group, that younger group had three, four minutes where they did a good job. Uh, and then, like I said, a bunch of guys played well to, uh, to make the plays uh, at the end of the game. It, it's, a, it's a really good win for our team. You mentioned PJ earlier. Um, how big was he for you guys tonight? What did you see him doing? Both ends. I mean, both ends. He made, and he made a lot of big baskets too, but his, uh, uh, you know, he guarded Draymond a lot. Uh, we were able to switch later in the game when he was out there. Uh, and then obviously offensively, he was uh, inside and outside. You know, he did a little bit of everything. So uh, now he played a terrific game. Uh, Coach, how do you, uh, you know, I know offensive rebound has kind of fallen out of vogue in the last couple of years, but uh, with Nick Richards doing what he did on the offensive It's a, it's a great question because I think for our team to take a step is we've got to be top 10 in both second chance points and defensive transition, which, and I think you can do, teams do it. You just have to be, you know, make good decisions about I can get this or I can't, so I'm back. And we, that's something that we have been working on since day one. Some games we've been okay with it, other games we have not, but it's, uh, you know, we need those those points. You know, it makes a big difference. So I, I totally agree with you. Just 
Yeah, for, you know, you, you know, I mean, I think it also it just goes to show of readiness. Um, I think it goes to show that we have a lot of character in the locker room. You know, we were obviously we played poorly last night. Um, you know, you have a late night flight, um, first time back to back. And, I, you know, that you could tell in shoot around. I didn't know we were going to win, but you could tell we were going to play well. Just the way they walked in, they were, the way they were talking to each other, um, how attentive they were when we went through things. And, um, you know, that's a big part of this, you know, for younger players. I mean, they're fortunate. We have some pros, you know, older pro guys that know how to get ready to play. And they can learn from those guys. But, uh, no, I, I... You heard it there from the man himself, Steve Clifford. And what he's about is challenging his players. He talked about in the third quarter, and he asked his team, are you tired? Are you going to will to win? Are you going to win this tough matchup against the Warriors? And the players didn't hesitate to say that, no, they're not tired. They're ready to go. This is what culture is. They didn't have that meeting the Hornets last year. This is real culture. And even though I may joke about Gordon Hayward time to time, Mr. Glass, you know the name. He needs to stay healthy, by the way. He had a good game against the Warriors. He played hard. He wasn't pouting if he didn't have enough shot attempts or wasn't making the shots. None of that. Played the best defense he's played this season. And at an important time. And Dennis Smith Jr., if he keeps this defense up, like Steve Clifford mentioned. Now, Steve already mentioned that he's already up there as one of the best defenders in the league. But I'm going to give him a chance to prove himself some more. But his future is bright. And if he keeps defending like this, he could be one of the best in the league. And his game matches with LaMelo. I can't wait for LaMelo to come back. That's a point guard's dream, especially a point guard who has an offensive repertoire like LaMelo. Where you don't have to worry about trying to feed them the ball all the time to score and to make sure their ego is in check. You don't have to worry about that with Dennis Smith Jr. He can facilitate. He can score when he's asked to, of course. And most importantly, he can defend. That will make LaMelo's job easier and not exert so much energy. When you're the franchise player, you need players like Dennis Smith Jr. who can hold the fort down, quote unquote, in defending. You need that. Everyone was telling me last year, Cody Martin is the defensive ace of this team. If that's the defensive ace, I don't know what is. Just because a player plays hard on defense and jumping around and moving around doesn't mean they're playing true good defense, great defense that is. Dennis Smith Jr. last night. That's what top-notch defense looks like. And finally, for LaMelo Ball, what I wanted to mention is that he may not return for the Kings game tomorrow. I thought it was going to be against the Warriors. He didn't return. And it looks like he's not going to return against the Kings. I hope that ankle's okay. Uh, it's not his fault. I don't want people to label him uh, these injuries. It was by accident. Someone stepped on his ankle. It happens. But when he gets back, he's going to be the point guard that Steve Clifford needs to develop consistency. Because let's be honest, even though the Hornets have some good wins this year, they have bad losses. They lost to a very young Orlando Magic team that has a lot of promise, but they're young. And they lost very bad. Those games don't happen when you have a LaMelo ball holding it down. But this is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video throughout all social media platforms. Peace and blessings. Peace and love. And I'm out.